time to get a look at our real time weather alert today. Megan, so flooding still an issue today. Yeah, it is going to be an issue for us, Aaron, because especially on area rivers, oftentimes they'll reach their peak days after the event. And we expect to see flood warnings on area rivers in effect for at least the vast majority of the rest of this week. If we look outside across our Chicago River right now, you can see the sorts of flooding that we're finding all around Chicagoland. The water is so much higher than normal, um, and it's just going to be a big factor, not just for the Chicago River, but look at all of these area rivers under flood stage right now. Kankakee, the Des Plaines, the Fox River, the Little Cal, and this will continue, as I said, for several days running. We also have concerns over lakeshore flooding today. Now, that's because we have had uh, water that's about a foot higher than normal on the lake for the last couple days. Add to that a bit of a breeze today that kicks up four to six foot waves, and once again, we do indeed have that concern over lakeshore flooding. Clouds and radar right now, not showing a whole lot going on at the moment. And if I look at our real-time precipitation tracker, you're not going to see particularly heavy rain for the remainder of the day today. Light stuff, certainly, because we're only talking about measuring today's rainfall in the hundredths of an inch. But we do still expect to see some scattered showers and also a lot of cloud cover, unfortunately. Your Wednesday will be about 67 degrees. Thursday, up to 70. 75 on Friday, but those temps just keep climbing. We hit the 80s and should remain there Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Maybe some scattered showers, but no washout this weekend. Just a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, and a couple of afternoon storms. So it is 